Proctor versus Whitesboro. The Raiders and Warriors duked it out of the baseball diamond this afternoon, and there was no shortage of drama for this affair. Bottom four, Whitesboro leading one to nothing, two on for Joey Panuccio, and he lays down a bunt. Panuccio was called out for running out of the baseline, however, Noah Scranton scores to give the Warriors a two to nothing lead. Colin McAndrew was dealing through four innings, but he ran into trouble in the fifth. First, with the bases loaded, he walks Matt Kassab to force in a run, and that spelled the end of the day for McAndrew. Next batter is Mike Reale. He hits a grounder to third. McAndrew can't handle it. Joe DeMassey scores, and we're tied. Proctor would take the lead on a ground out, and then with a chance to extend that lead, Kassab gets picked off third base. Felix Deasa de la Cruz ends up lining a base hit to center. Reale thought about scoring, changes his mind, and then gets caught off third as well. Whitesboro ends up walking off with the 4-3 win. Whitesboro and Proctor also squaring off in softball action. Top two, Kendall Dorozinski. Lines one to center. That gets by Leah Rivera. Emma Scranton scores to give the Warriors a one to nothing lead. Dorozinski ends up at third with a triple. Later in the inning, it's now two to nothing. Chloe Weller hits one that falls right in the middle of two Proctor outfielders. Kayla Maylock scores to extend that lead to three to nothing. In the third, Scranton at the dish. She hits one that lands just inside the line and right. Madison Sheeslack comes across to make it four to nothing, and Whitesboro goes on to win in a route. 16-0 the final.